So what we have here is the EcoFlow Delta Mini. We're gonna be going over all the features of this. We're gonna test out a bunch of appliances. I just did a video on the EcoFlow Delta Pro and I'll have that link to that video in the description. So how much power does the EcoFlow Delta Mini have? Well, it has a capacity of 882 watt hours and it does have an AC output of 1400 watts, pure sine wave, and it does have a surge of 2100 watts. So you do have that surge for starting up bigger motors. And this does have all the protection that you need. It has over voltage protection, short circuit protection, temperature protection, overload protection. So you can feel safe about using this with any appliance. And I will put all the specifications for the EcoFlow Delta Mini in the description. So the first thing is, this thing's much more portable than the Pro, of course. Pretty lightweight, only weighs about 24 pounds, and there's nice carrying handles on it. So just to show you guys the size, because it's kind of hard to tell on camera sometimes, it's about 14 and 3 quarter inches long from handle to handle, about 7 and a quarter wide, and about 9 and a half inches tall, roughly. So pretty small. So on the front of the EcoFlow Delta Mini, you have a fast charging USB port, you have two USB-A ports, and then a USB-C port. And then this is your Wi-Fi reset button, because uh, you can pair this to the app, which I'll show you guys. And then your power button is right here, and that lights up the display screen. So right now, just to show the display screen a little bit, um, we're at 20% battery life. With the screen just being on, it says it'll run it for 25 hours. And I love the display screens on all the EcoFlow products. It's, it, they're really nice. It tells you everything you need to know. Um, but right now it's showing that we have no input watts and we have no output watts. But you do see that little Wi-Fi symbol down here. That is because I am paired to this on the app. So on the back of the Mini, you have five standard 120 volt receptacles. So you can plug up to five two-prong cord ends in there. So phone, char phone chargers and things like that or up to two three-prong cords, because there is a slot here for that ground prong, like so, which is nice. You also have a 12-volt DC receptacle, same thing you have in your car, and then a couple slots to run some DC appliances. And to turn these on, there's a DC on button right there for the 12-volt appliances, and then that switch turns on the 120 volt receptacles. So you have both uh, 120 volt options and 12 volt DC options, which is nice. Then there's this door right here, opens up, and this is your charging ports. So this is your AC charging port, and then this one is both your DC charging port, so you can charge it through your car port, and then also your solar charging port. So you have three options to charge this, which is really nice. And when you buy the EcoFlow Delta Mini, you are provided with all three cords for all three charging options. So we're going to try out the solar charging option first. And I do have an EcoFlow 400 watt solar panel, which I absolutely love. It charges our EcoFlow Delta Pro uh, super fast. It folds right up like this. Also comes with a carrying case. I love this thing. But with the EcoFlow Delta Mini, you only have a 300 watt max PV input. So... I can't use the 400 watt solar panel because I exceed that and I don't want to damage the unit. But EcoFlow does sell 160 watt panels and based on my experience with the 400 watt panel, I would highly recommend them. Very easy to use. They come with uh, the MC4 connectors already connected and ready to go. So all you got to do is just plug it into the unit. So I do have four 100 watt solar panels here. I do have this one isolated. So I have 300 watts, which is the maximum input for the EcoFlow Delta Mini. And that's the nice thing about EcoFlow, is their products are compatible with third-party solar panels. So for the MC4 connectors, very easy. The red is positive, and they just snap together just like that. And then from there, it just plugs right into this port. Very easy to hook up. So out of the 300 watts total I have of solar power, I'm only getting about 190 it looks like. It's pretty early in the day still, but you can see at 190 watts of solar input, it would charge the battery full from 20% in four hours. So that's pretty good. So the advantage of the Delta Mini is that it is very portable, very lightweight, easy to tote around. So let's try it out in the car and see how the DC charging option works. 
So I do have my vehicle running, and while you're charging this from an RV, van, or your car, you are going to want to have it running, otherwise you risk draining your vehicle battery. And again, the DC charging option plugs into the same port as your solar panel option. So let's see what we're bringing in here. It looks like we're bringing in 105 watts, and it will charge it from 20% to full in about 9 hours, which I'm actually really impressed with. I thought it was going to be a lot longer than that. So yeah, nine hours, and it charges at about 105 watts. So that's pretty good for DC charging. So right now I'm charging this from AC power, and you can see this switch right here. So there's a normal option and a fast option. The normal option will charge it at 200 watts, and the fast option charges it at 900 watts. And at 900 watts, it'll charge it from 0% to 100% in two hours. But there's also something else you can do with this that I want to show you. So when this switch is in the down position, you can actually custom change how fast you want this to charge. So this is the EcoFlow app, and the app is very user-friendly. And to pair this, there's this Wi-Fi button on the front, and it walks you right through it in the owner's manual, so it's really easy to pair. But right now I'm charging it from that normal slash custom option. And on normal, like I said, that the default is 200 watts, but you can actually custom change that by going here, and look at there's an AC charge speed option. Click that. And you can custom change how fast you want this to charge at. So let's just try 400 watts for fun. Hit confirm. Let's see how fast that changes. Watch, it's already climbing. So it's instantaneous. And at that 400 watts, it looks like it'll charge it in two hours from 25%, which is really fast. So I'm gonna charge this all the way full. And once it's full, we'll try out some household appliances and see what all the Delta Mini is capable of running. Also, on the app, the nice thing is it shows you how fast it's charging, what your battery level is at. So you can see it's climbing. I'm bringing in about 800 watts. And it'll be fully charged in 58 minutes. So it's nice that you can just check this right on your phone. Okay, so I just got done charging it from the AC mode. Uh, it took about an hour and a half, I'd say, to get it from where it was to fully charged. And you can see here, what that's showing is that with just the screen being illuminated, that this will run for 73 hours as is. But let's try out some appliances on this. So the first thing that I want to try, because I'm curious, and we all have one, is I'm just going to charge my phone. So we'll turn the AC on. So, it says it'll charge my phone for 29 hours consecutively, which of course it's not going to take that long to charge my phone. So this thing will charge your phone many, many times before the battery's dead. So this is the TV power cord, but we have an outlet right behind the TV where we keep this plugged in. This won't reach to the ground, so I have an extension cord that we'll plug it into, and then we'll plug this into the mini and see if it'll run the TV. So it'll run the TV for 12 hours straight, and the uh, TV's drawing 52 watts. Alright, let's find out how long the Delta Mini will run a fridge. Fridge's drawing about 93 watts. And it'll run the fridge continuously for eight hours. But a fridge does not run continuously, so when it gets to temperature, it'll shut off. So it should run a fridge for quite a long time. Okay, so there the fridge just kicked off. So see what I mean? Once it reaches temperature, it'll kick off. And this, just to show you that this is the fridge cord plugged in. See, so got up to temperature, so it shut off. So, you know, it should run a fridge for quite a long time, depending on how big your fridge is, but should run a full-size fridge for quite a while. All right, let's do the toast test. This is just your standard toaster. Okay, 
The toast is done. You can see we still have plenty of battery left. So you can see that only used a couple percent of the battery to make toast. So that's pretty good. Okay, here comes an important test because you gotta have coffee. Um, this coffee pot takes about 12 minutes or so to brew. It's not a very nice one, but we'll see how much battery we use. Looks like our coffee's done. That, uh, you know, when you unplug it and plug it back in, that's 12 a.m., so it took nine minutes to brew that. Okay, so it makes coffee no problem, and every coffee pot is gonna be different, you know, depending on which one you have, but it looks like no matter which one you have, the EcoFlow Delta Mini is not gonna let you down. All right, let's see what happens with a standard window AC unit. I know it's not a good idea to run it on the table like this, but this is just for demonstration. Oops, he's running. So that's pretty cool. It'll run an AC unit, no problem at all. Uh, and if you're running an AC unit, it's probably sunny outside, so if you have solar panel or two to go with this, then you're putting power back into it rather than just sucking power out like we're doing right now. So you shouldn't have any problem running an AC unit, which is really nice. So I do a decent amount of woodworking, so let's find out how long this will run a belt sander. Yeah, I gotta say that this thing's exceeding my expectations by far. I mean, for how small this thing is and lightweight, this thing has a ton of power. Okay, we gotta try the vacuum. Okay, I'm on a mission to trip this thing. Uh, so I'm going to try, the. this thing draws more than anything that we own. The air fryers dry a lot, so let's turn her on and see what happens. That's unbelievable that you can air fry with this thing. Our gas generator doesn't even run the air fryer. All right, so I am in total awe with this thing. Uh, like I said, for how small this thing is, it's unbelievable that it has that much power. I mean, we've made toast, we make coffee, I ran vacuum, belt sander, TV, fridge. I've tried a bunch of big stuff on it and we're still only down to 62%. And like I said, we've been doing nothing but sucking power out of it. I mean, if you have a solar panel to go with this, then you're putting power back into it. And yeah, this is unbelievable. We ran the AC unit too. I mean, it's, I'm, I'm pretty amazed with how much stuff this little unit runs. Well, there you go, my friends. The EcoFlow Delta Mini far exceeded my expectations. This thing packs a serious punch for how small and lightweight it is. You know, you get three charging options. All three of them, you guys saw, charge very fast. And as you guys saw, it'll run phones, TVs, it'll run that stuff forever. And it runs a fridge a long time. You guys saw that it'll run pretty much any kitchen appliance you have. So um, if you're looking for a, a portable power source, you know, something for your van, RV, off-grid cabin, or just something for a backup in case the power goes out, I think the EcoFlow Delta Mini is a pretty good option. Um, you know, and we depend on solar power as our primary power, and I gotta say, I'm nothing but impressed with it. So the link to buy this will be in the description, and uh, we'll see you guys next video. Thanks for watching.